Hello, my name is Ria Song. I'm a SGM student who completed the second internship already. Now I'm recording a video to talk about my experience and what I learned from the internship period. Firstly, I, I chose to stay in Switzerland and I luckily found a job in Clean Lab Perry, which is a great luxury and also famous medical clinic in Switzerland. Um, but after one week training, I hurt my shoulder and got a muscle strain. So the doctor suggested me that I cannot do the F and B job anymore. I need to accept the treatment first. So with the suggestion of the doctor and also my parents, I go back to China. Honestly, after I go back to China, I feel depressed and also nervous about my future. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to fail in this BIT class and don't want to fail in this internship. But my parents forced me to go to the hospital first and to accept the treatment regularly. Luckily, I got the recovery. And also, I sent my CV to several hotels and also get the offers. I choose a hotel near to my hometown. And also, I can go to the F4 positions. Finally, I truly learn a lot and thanks God it's, it's not a bad opportunity to go back to China. I mean, I learn a lot and I achieve a lot in this period. About the location. Now, I'm going to introduce the Qiandao Lake. It is actually the Xin'anjiang Reservoir. It's located in Chen'an Country, Hangzhou City, Zhejiang Province. It is an artificial lake and at the highest water level, there are 1,078 land bridge islands, larger than 0.25 square kilometers. Many islands under 2 square kilometers with a total area of 409 square kilometers. So people in China named it Qiandao, which means Southern Island. About my hotel. Among those islands, our hotel Bravo Resort is located in a specific island, which is its biggest selling point as well. Also, it has well equipped facilities like two swimming pools, man made hot springs, game rooms, and cinemas for kids, etc. The target market is mainly for the leisure guests with family. I did my internship for the F4 department for 5 months. As I said before, we can see the Chuan'an town, Qiandao Lake City, is a tourism city. So in the peak period like holidays, festivals or even weekends in China, the hotel is always fully booked. The occupancy reached 100%. That is the first challenge for me because it has 220 rooms including 31 villas I said. But for FO, we only have two people per shift, so it will be very busy for us to do check-in and check-out, especially in overlapping time from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Self-analysis and self-assessment It is the biggest difficulties for FO staffs to comfort the guests who are willing to do early check-in when the previous guests ask for late check-out. Especially in peak period, it is very common that meet the guest shouting at F4 staff to force us arrange a room quickly for them, while well, no clean rooms are ready. Because of the the room occupancy is full and the housekeeping have like no such enough time to prepare. It. In the beginning, I always felt afraid to communicate with these guests. So I will ask my shift supervisor to explain the situation with the mad guests. After seeing what she did and the way she talked, I began to know how to soothe guest emotions. The critical customer issue management was my weakness. But after one month, it began to my strength now. Sometimes the guests are like arguing for rooms, but Mostly they are requesting for attitude or some benefits. 
So we can give them some small gifts or coupons, which can be used in the restaurant or lobby bar. That is allowed by our managers. For people who are extremely arid, we will think first: What are they really argue for? And give the reasonable solutions for them. Frequently, they will be certified with the gifts or waiting for a free upgrade room. The Evo class truly helped me a lot. The problem Mr. Van Fleet mentioned in the BA two class are really existed in our daily work. However, the problem that's not only a problem, it is also a a chance. An opportunity for me to practice my problem-solving skills and communication skills. Even we learn a lot in the class, we still need to practice to solve the problem in the daily work. I would like to say, after this internship, I even get the chance to be the FO supervisor in last two months in these hotels. All the new training or interns are leaded by me. It is re. It is really a great experience that to be a leader in a team. I mean, I'm more responsible for my every word or action. I was trying to teach new stuff, the right things, and improve my personal skills. In these five months, I can be proud to say I achieved my learning objectives. I became familiar with the airflow working process. I know how to use Opera system very well. And I gained the skills of night auditing. I even reached the zero error rate in the night shift. I never made mistakes on the night report, which is the one of the things I am most proud of. Meanwhile, my interpersonal skills are highly improved. I always gained the highest rating for guests, and got a lot of five star rating in sea trip. Not only with the customers, even I learned how to work with others. All my colleagues are nice with each other, and my director manager encouraged me a lot. I made a lot of close friends during the internship, which I cannot imagine before. They convinced me about my leadership, and the ability to work in hospitality in the future. Overall, I would like to say I really appreciate that I chose SHMS. I choose to study in hospitality. I really appreciate that I got this job opportunity in this such a pretty nice hotels, working with such nice colleagues, and working in the F four teams. It not only for me passing the course, it's more like a memorable experience for myself. It convinced me that I love hospitality industry. I will never regret to choose it, and I will continue to do that. That's all. That's all the rare second internship video. Thanks for watching.